4.58 in the morning. I'm up early. <laughs> um, because I'm headed to Miami. So, going further south um, today. And I want to check out Miami Beach and just the Miami area. I've never been. And, uh, I have some time. It's going to be a busy week, but... I felt like I'm in Miami. I'm gonna make my bed up. Um, I slept in Crackle Barrel uh, parking lot. And when I first came here, there was a semi truck and one other RV. And when I woke up and I looked outside, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, probably like six or seven of us out there, RVs. So at first I was at a rest stop that I'd never been to before. It, it was just sketch. Some was just like, no. You're not staying here tonight. Something's off about this place. So I left. And uh, thankfully I came here. So now I'm surrounded by a bunch of RVs. So that's cool. Parked right under a street light.
this is downtown Miami uh, Beach, I guess. All right, let's see here. This is it. There's the parking lot. Let's go in. And this is where you pay. Astronomical prices, but I'll pay it because the beach, my friends, my family is straight ahead. Let's go park. Let's roll. Got my bag with my chair, my towel. It's humid. It is humid. Okay, I'm parked and now I gotta go pay for metered parking. Let me show you where I'm parked. Uh, right now there's nobody here. Part of the lot is fairly you know, got some spaces, but I'm sure when I get back from doing my little excursions that the parking lot will be full. Also too, um, it says metered parking from 9 a.m. to 3 a.m., but it is eight. Do I risk it and go and come back and pay or do I pay right now? Ugh, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So let me show you what it's talking about. Welcome to Miami Beach, payment for lot only, two hours, 9 a.m. to 3 a.m., three hour limit. So do we come back in an hour or do we just pay it now? <sighs> I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna go look around and I'm like, well, now nah, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay, I ain't taking a risk, I'm gonna pay and I'm gonna put the sticker in my window because I'm not trying to get no tickets. So let me pay and I'll see you guys in a minute. So Miami has a different feel. <clears throat> uh, this is Miami Beach. They are doing some construction on the beach, which is a bummer. Hopefully the, you know, there's parts of the beach which are really nice that I can go take a look at because why come to Miami if it's not for the beaches? Um, it has a different feel. Everybody's more, uh, so far, my first impressions, more somber, very about their business, um, kind of focused. Uh, we'll see. It's a different feel down in Miami from like central Florida. Southern parts are, I don't know, a little more about their business. But yeah, let's go find this beach and take a look at it. I'm the only one not running, but I did my running yesterday and I almost died because I was dehydrated and it was hot. So let's see if we can go through. Uh, Nah, we'll find another spot. We'll just walk all the way down. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm on the beach. Or close to it. Um, one thing I like about Miami Beach, the sand is not as soft as some of the other beaches, so I can put a chair up but uh, the waves are calm. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I like the waves. I like violent waves, but um, it's definitely a different feel. I definitely had a different thing in mind when I thought about Miami Beach. Um, maybe I'm thinking South Beach, but I've definitely seen better beaches um, in Central Florida. Um, along the Gulf, but it's got some seaweed and stuff. Not a lot of seaweed, a little bit. But yeah, this is what we're looking like.
first impressions of Miami Beach. Um, if all the beaches are like this in the south, like southern part of Florida, uh-uh. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely going to go back up to the central Florida area and uh, north Florida area. Um, what I like about the um, water in uh, central Florida, the beaches, um, correct me if I'm wrong, they're long, more along the Gulf Coast. The waves are bigger, water is clearer and cleaner. It's a lot of uh, seaweed. I see seaweed in this water and on the shorelines. Wait, they do have that big seaweed blob that's coming, but uh, it's still nice. You know, Miami Beach. Uh, I'm trying to visit as much as many beaches as I can in Florida before your girl deuces and heads out. But yeah, um, if uh, this is what the beaches look like in the south, I don't think I'm gonna be in the south too much. Anyways, I'm not. I'm not staying down here today. I'm headed back. Uh, to, towards central Florida today. Um, I do got to check my P.O. box. Uh, Miami Beach was nice. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's not even in my top. I've been to several beaches in Michigan and it doesn't even make the list of being one of the nicest beaches. Um, just happy I said, just happy I get to say that I was able to visit and see the beach. But let's go check out uh, downtown Miami. See if we can get into something. Uh, cause this beach, it's all right. <laughs> um, still got some stuff to do today, but I wanted to make a pit stop and check out Miami Beach and check out Miami, so. I got about 25 minutes before I have to pay for parking, so. We're going to just keep exploring a little bit, seeing what we can find or get into, and then uh, head back. Of course, there's a Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks. But uh, a lot of abandoned, there's a few, several abandoned buildings, or maybe they're working on them. Um, I haven't seen any restaurants, but then again, I could just be in the wrong uh, part of Miami, wrong side of downtown. I wanted to see Miami Beach. It was okay, you know. And no, a beach is not a beach. Some people say, ah, it's just a beach. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Not true. Uh, I was not impressed with the downtown Miami Beach. Um, not at all. Uh, from what I saw, like I said, I might have been on the wrong side of the town, but I was just really wasn't impressed with it. And I did find some nice areas coming back. I took a little different route, but just a bunch of hotels. Um, yeah, it was nothing to uh, kind of ride home about. But I did take a detour from what I'm really supposed to be doing today, and that's going to my PO box. And um, the, the detour was fun. Uh, it was, was it worth it? I mean, yeah, because I, like I said, I want to try to see as many beaches as I can before I leave Florida. And Florida is a wealth, has a wealth of beaches. Uh, Miami Beach was not uh, impressed. Uh, maybe uh, when I have time, but not today, I'll take a look at South Beach. But I do want to uh, actually visit, um, what is it called? Uh, uh, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> I literally cannot think right now. Um, I did stop at this really nice coffee, like juice shop, uh, and uh, got me an iced Americano. Um, the coffee is actually really nice. It's very smooth. So it's a juice uh, place. But let me uh, get ready to get out of here. And then I think today I'm just gonna chill out for today. Um, I'm not sure where I wanna go but I am gonna be cooking salmon. I'm really excited for that. I haven't had salmon in so long, and I think this will probably be maybe my second or third time in my entire lifetime of me cooking salmon, uh, if you can believe that. But, um, yeah, 
can't believe I can't think of the name of the beach. It's called, um, let me grab my phone. Uh, it's gonna bother me. I'm not putting nothing on the screen. Let me figure this out really quick. It'll be two seconds uh, because, let's see here. Um, trying to think, where is this beach? Oh, come on, girl, get it together. Palm Beach. I want to go take a look at Palm Beach. Uh, and it's actually on the way back uh, to where I need to go because I'm headed towards more of the central part of Florida. But I do want to take a, a, a visit Palm Beach, but just not today because um, I would feel like I'd rush it. And my expectations of Palm Beach is pretty high. Pretty high. Maybe because of just the movies and just people talking about, ooh, Palm Beach. I really hope that area and the beach area is really nice. So I don't want to look at take a look at it today because I feel like I'll be rushing. So I'll see you guys when I'm on the road. Everybody in Florida has this kind of Corvette. I've seen this kind of Corvette everywhere in Florida, literally. Dang it, that's one I needed right there and he took it. Go ahead. Literally everybody in Florida has that type of Corvette. I don't know what kind it is, but it kind of looks like a Ferrari, I guess. It looks like, like a super car. Oh, gas it is. Our um, oceanfront <laughs> uh, today was a good day but now we're here um, at one of my little spots that I like to hang out at it's supposed to be thunderstorming and raining here soon so I'm gonna cook some dinner um, beachside and uh, chill and hang out so uh, let's check out our view here we go. This is what I see out, out my van. <laughs> oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's really nice. But uh, we're going to set up and uh, get to cook and make some salmon.
got some coconut rice. It smells delish. And then I made enough for today and tomorrow. So here is the finish results. It is garlic butter, brown sugar, um, salmon. There we go, guys. Look at that. There's the finished results. Doesn't that look wonderful? It has been a long time since I've eaten on this table. There we go. Let's put you guys right there. It's been a minute. <laughs> Turn this backwards. Got a nice breeze. Um, see, this is my view from my dinner table. Isn't that gorgeous? So, finished results. Look at that coconut rice and um, <laughs> think hello. <laughs> coconut rice and um, garlic butter and brown sugar uh, salmon. I just added a little brown sugar to the garlic butter. It's Kerrygold's garlic and herb butter that I used. And uh, I don't know, it's the first time I'm ever cooking it, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be good. So hopefully it is. Let me move you guys back just a tad. There we go. I hope it's good. Here we go. Look at that salmon and how it just falls apart. Salmon does not need to be dry. Um, I cooked it for like four minutes on each side and it is good and tender. First bite goes to you. Have that bite right there. Isn't it good? This salmon with the uh, coconut rice, fantastic. Mm hmm The salmon is very tender. I mean, look at that. Juicy. It's all the way, cooked all the way through. Mm hmm Mm. We're going to add a little bit of hot honey. Uh, today was a nice day. Like I said, I went and saw Miami Beach. That was on my list. Um, I thought it was going to be better than what it was. Maybe I'm confusing it with South Beach. But Miami Beach was decent. It's not a beach that I would go back to. Mm. I should have got some spinach. It's not a beach I would go back to. But I'm trying to see all the beaches um, here in Florida before I leave. Mm -hmm. And like I said, Miami Beach was the halfway point between um, like in the middle of where my P.O. box was. So I was like, since I'm going to my, you know, check my P.O. box to see if I have any mail, I might as well stop and go see Miami Beach. Mm hmm this this is really nice salmon oh my goodness I dropped a piece of rice But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and finish my dinner and enjoy this beautiful view.
it is supposed to rain here shortly thunderstorms for the next like five or six hours I'm enjoying my time so far in Florida it's just the heat it's not even the heat it's the humidity that humidity ain't no joke it'd be like 75 degrees in the morning but feel like 85 because of the humidity the salmon's really nice I have to figure out a way to bring out the brown sugar I don't think I added enough and I don't think I did it right I think I should have mixed it with like brown sugar soy sauce butter something like that I'll get better at it. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank you for hanging out with me, taking your time to spend a little bit of day, spend a little bit of your time with me. <laughs> Family, this this salmon is so good. I'm stuttering and fumbling over my words. It means the world to me that uh, you took a little bit of time out of your day to hang out with me, have dinner with me, enjoy this beautiful beach view beautiful ocean view um, that means the world to me it really does I appreciate you guys thanks for watching and as always I'll see you guys in my next video take care peace